<laughs> you having a hard time climbing up there. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I'm going to hold your hand. Okay, hold on. Your legs on. My name is Simon Weaver, and this is my wife, Katie Weaver. We are living in southern Washington state near the Oregon town of Hood River, and we live here with our two daughters, Vivian, who's four, and Lucy, who is just shy of 11 months. I was outside working in the garden, and Vivian was out with me, working around me, playing with her toys, and I saw her reach up and hold the back of her head and say, Papa, my head hurts. She had said that her head hurt several times over the preceding two weeks. We got to OHSU and met with our pediatric neuro-oncologist who explained what it was, and that was the first time I'd ever heard of diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. And she, in a very direct way, explained how bad of a prognosis that is. And I remember sitting in that room and Simon, I think kind of already had that understanding after seeing the MRI. Um, and I remember sitting in that room after she was explaining what it was and how horrible it was and just like, I stomach. felt like I just wanted to lay on the ground and I just remember sitting and holding my head and just going, like, how can that be happening? recognized very early on that Vivian was not facing this in isolation, but that there were other people going through exactly the same thing. Today is there's more hope on the horizon now than there ever has been previously. Our hope is that we find a cure for Vivian in the short term and that God maybe reach down and touch her little body and cure her miraculously if that's what it takes. Um, but if not, we'll continue to contribute to the Defeat DIPG community and try to fund necessary research that would push us closer and closer to finding a cure for all the other kids that suffer from this condition.